Varicose veins and spider veins are both type of vein conditions that may differ in how they look and how affect your body. Varicose veins are large, swollen veins, and it usually appears dark blue or dark purple in nature. They appear like bulging or twisted like structures along your legs. Varicose veins can sometimes cause pain, discomfort, or heaviness in your legs. If these symptoms persist, it is best to schedule an appointment with your Baylor Medicine doctor for further evaluation. However, while heredity plays a role, other factors can cause varicose vein as well. These include age, gender, women are more likely to develop them as compared to men, pregnancy, obesity, and or prolonged seating and standing. Varicose veins can cause other serious complications. This includes venous ulcers. Venous ulcers are skin ulcers that are usually found along the ankles, which are very slow to heal. Varicose veins, especially larger ones, can sometimes bleed with minor trauma like bumping your legs. Although the bleeding may not severe, it can be concerning for the patient and require medical attention. Varicose veins can sometimes cause formation of blood clots in the superficial veins, which can cause pain, redness, and swelling. In the case of DVT, on what we refer to as deep vein thrombosis, it is a very rare occurrence. Spider veins, on the other hand, are much smaller and much closer to the surface of the skin. They appear like tiny red or tiny blue web-like structures. Spider veins usually does not cause pain. However, they can be cosmetic concern for many people. Both varicose veins and spider veins are common, but treatment options are available. The latest treatment options that we offer at Baylor Medicine includes radiofrequency ablation and scleroterapy. Radiofrequency ablation is a minimally invasive procedure which uses heat to close off the affected veins. They're usually done under local anesthesia and has a very quick recovery time. It has less discomfort as compared to traditional surgery. Scleroterapy, on the other hand, uh, in this procedure, we use a special solution called sclerosan. We inject it to a much smaller varicose veins or spider veins, which causes the vein lining to collapse and fade over time. 